So the first thing when we talk about surgery that everybody's excited to hear about is laser surgery. I don't know why it is, but every patient loves the idea of a laser. And we're not that excited about it because we have a job to do in getting the pressure off the nerve. And we're not so convinced that a laser helps us any more than our traditional techniques. Believe me, we want to do the surgery in the most least invasive way. And on this list of surgical treatments, I would say laser surgery is the most minimally invasive. The question is, does it work? Some people just love lasers and must go through their whole life asking for laser. They go to the restaurant, instead of getting a knife and fork, they want a laser. They go get their car fixed and have a flat tire. I want you to fix it with a laser. I mean, lasers exist, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best tool for you when you're talking about having spine surgery and getting better. I had an opportunity to ask Dr. Stern his feelings about laser surgery. So let's hear what he has to say about laser surgery as treatment for a cervical herniated disc. I was so fascinated with this topic that about two years ago, I did an extensive search of the literature and actually wrote a paper in Spineline, which is an, uh, a journal published by the North American Spine Society. And I was somewhat amazed to discover that there really are no good randomized controlled studies or randomized studies that would give me an indication that laser surgery has a significant role in the treatment of cervical spine. That doesn't mean that patients haven't gotten better from laser surgery from the cervical spine. But most of the treatment modalities that I recommend in our own practice, I feel better if I have some evidence in the literature that there's, some, that there's efficacy, that it makes sense. Um, I've lived through enough periods where one modality has become popular, fallen out of favor, another modality has become popular, that I tend not to go with something that's popular I've reached a point in my surgical career where I really want to make decisions for my patients based on some science. Right now, with, I don't see the science behind laser surgery. Perhaps it's coming, in which case I'd be happy to change my mind. But right now, in terms of best laser surgery, I can't answer that question. Um, I haven't had enough experience with it myself, and I don't see enough evidence in the literature to support it.